In this video, we want to find the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 4 over 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. We're going to break this up first into two separate fractions. We're going to use partial fraction decomposition. So at this point, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. When I multiply that by the first fraction, the, the denominator cancels and I'm left with 4. When I multiply by the second fraction, the 2n minus 1 cancels and I'm left with 2n plus 1. And the last fraction, the 2n plus 1 is going to cancel, and so I'm left with 2n minus 1. At this point, I want to solve for a and b. So let's pick values of n that makes whatever is inside the parentheses equal to 0. Starting with the first parentheses, when is 2n plus 1 equal to 0? Well, that's when n equals negative 1 half. So this whole thing is 0. So we have 4 equals, and then 2 times negative 1 half minus 1. So that's going to be negative 2. So we have 4 equals negative 2b. And that makes b equal negative 2. Now we move on to the second parentheses. 1 is 2n minus 1 equal to 0. That's when n equals 1 half. So we can ignore this second term. So we have 4 equals 2a, and so a is equal to 2. So now we have a and b, so we can rewrite this fraction as 2 over 2n minus 1 minus 2 over 2n plus 1. And so I'm going to find the sum of this fraction, or these two fractions. So this is part of it. Uh, when n equals 1, we have 2 minus 2 thirds. And when n equals 2, we have 2 thirds minus 1 half. Continuing, when n equals 3, we have 2 fifths minus 2 sevenths. When n equals 4, we have 2 sevenths minus 2 ninths. So it's pretty obvious here we have a nice little pattern. Notice that 2 thirds are going to cancel, 2 fifths are going to cancel, 2 sevenths are going to cancel, and eventually 2 ninths, etc. So all that we're going to be left with is 2. And so this sum converges to 2.